zero FXB. Let's send some pics using the Yesu FT2D. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So, looking at this program by Darius SP4UBW, and I will put a link in for the download. And it's a program that can be used or is used for saving photographs in the correct format so that you can send them using your Yesu radios. Now, I've got the Yesu FT2 here and the FT3 here, but this will work on the 300, 400, um, 5D, and even the 100 as well. So, both the radios are in group mode. I'll show you that in a second. The first thing to do is go to the download, click download. All right, when you've got that folder, and then obviously it's at your risk when you download this, so download anyway, and then click keep. So what you want to do is get the take the SD card out of your radio and put it into your PC. All right, so we've rebooted the FT2. We're gonna go back into group mode. Then we're gonna hit log. We're going to turn the knob until it selects pick and we're going to select pick. Then we've got the different picks that we've loaded. So we'll choose the top one and we'll tap it. Let's go down. There you go. Waiting. So it's loading the pick from the SD card. There's the pick. I know it's black and white, but you can see it. Now we need to make sure the FT5 is in group mode, which it is now. Same frequency, DN mode. They're now talking to each other, even if you don't send pictures. Now we're going to send send. Click send. Hopefully we, do we, our fingers are a bit big. Right, send. There you go. Now the FT5 is saying waiting. And then what we'll do, we'll do it the other way around as well. There is a pause. I know that the FT2 is an older radio and it's black and white and all that, but it's actually it's a nice size. I just like using it, especially very handy for doing things like this. OK, and it's done it. It's sent it and we can save it. I'll click save. It's going to save it in our SD card. So now we could use the program to, you know, to send it. But what we'll do you, I've shown you how to do that. We're going to see if we can reply and send. So we'll go reply. Click OK. Tap that. Reply. Send. There you are. And now it's sending it the other way back. And it says completed. So what we're going to do now is actually start from scratch but go the other way. Right, we've got the SD card in the PC from the FT5, and on the FT5, we're gonna look up the radio ID. So hold down F, tap GM, radio ID. There's our ID, EBF Q3. EBF Q3. So we'll go back, we'll put it back into group, we'll put it into group mode, but we're not gonna, it's not gonna work properly until we've put the program in so and the SD card back so we're going to find that program again show in folder and we've got to copy it copy and then go back to the SD and then we've got to paste it in here okay the program's in there so now we'll be able to load photographs on that so we're going to double click like so, and we're going to go, we need to put in that it's an FTM, FT5. don't think this bit is crucial, but the radio ID is crucial. Forgotten that already. Hold F. GM, radio ID, which is EBFQ3, so caps. EBFQ3. And FT5. Okay, that's good. Open picture. We, again, we're just going to choose anything. Got to be a picture and pictures here somewhere. We can choose. Uh, download. Let's do this one. There you are. And we can even open a logo. There's another one there. So we've we've added a logo. Tick the little box for the logo. And now we're going to save picture to SD, which is just done. So now we can take the SD card out. Put it back in our radio. 
Right, it's back in the radio and we've rebooted. We'll go back into group mode, make sure we're on the same frequency. We'll go back a touch on the FT2. Leave it on picture. So, right, so let's try and send. So, we're going to go log. We're going to go uh, picture. Select picture with the channel change knob. Select the picture we want to send. There it is there and click send. So now, oh yeah, then all. Then click OK. You can actually see it in colour on this one. So with a bit of luck, in a minute, it says waiting on the FT2D. We've done it. So remember, the key thing is, the key thing is, I know it was all in the way there is get your radio ID and your, your file name, call sign. But the main thing is when you're in your SD card, you need to see that that program is in your SD card that is going to, you're then going to put in the radio. That's the key thing. And it just makes it easy that you can, you can you've got all these different set settings. You've got captions, you can add, change the size, color, left, right, position, style, style all kinds of stuff, overlay text one, so you can overlay a text if you want, and all sorts, and then here's the different, it keeps the files here, and I think it's good. So thanks very much to to um, Darius, call sign, SP4UBW, and just let this finish, and then we'll finish the video. You can see it says send on the FT5. And be patient, because it does take a minute or so. Right, and it's gone through. I know it's black and white, but it's there, and we can save it. Obviously, if you look at the actual SD card, it will be in colour. And I don't think you can view it on the FTM 100. I think it's purely SD card. But the 400, the 300, and the 55, for definite, you can view it. So thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, and catch you on air. All the best.